everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This week's scrapbook layout is a really funny photo. This is me dressed as a giant Weetabix. This is the very early 1980s. Those of you that don't know what a Weetabix is, it's a breakfast cereal and I still eat them today. I had my Weetabix this morning. I love them. Um, back in the 80s, they had characters. So this one here, I am Bixie, who is the, the little girl. And the yellow kind of paper that my dad has got on the side there is meant to be the bows that she had in her hair. Um, my dad made it for me. He's also very creative and we didn't win. And my dad was absolutely gutted because I think Postman Pat or something like that, he said one, or maybe it was a cowboy or something like that. He said that it just wasn't original. He said yours was original. You should have won. Anyway, I also got stuck in that outfit um, and I cried my eyes out. And if you look closely, you can see my arms are wedged in there. Um, and from what they can remember, I was no older than three. I wasn't four yet, but I was about three, three and a half. So yeah, a little bit distraught in that. I think it was more for my mum and dad's enjoyment than mine, to be fair. So <laughs> anyway, it always makes us laugh. So I thought I'm going to scrapbook this. So you just saw me there with my two inch and one inch punch. And I've just gone through and just punched out tons and tons and tons of circles from the Paige Evans whimsical collection. Now I've got this vision in my head and you know, sometimes these things don't go to plan. And through the course of this, well, you'll actually see me finish it. And then I go back to it the next day and I rip it apart and I've kept all that in. So I just think it's good for you to see that we get things wrong. You know, I edit obviously stuff out because I want to teach you a lot of the times, but also it's good to see where we go wrong and how we can actually rectify it and make it better. Now the final, final end result of this, I absolutely adore. But even now at this point, I'm just, I was just, I was never a hundred percent with it. And that just really gets to me. So, but I persevered and I kept going and I'm glad I did because like I said, the end result is awesome. So you can see here, I'm just kind of curling up all of those circles just to keep them all. I wanted it to be quite dimensional. I wanted it to be a really arty layout. The paper pack's got some really cool, like um, artistic kind of elements to it. And I just thought it'd be great for this particular photo. So I've got the one inch circles towards the top left and then I've got the two inch ones at the bottom. You can see there now I've got them kind of well, they are, they're all stuck in place. I still end up adding more to it, but at the minute, that's kind of what I was going for. Now I'm just matting the photo and I want to create a Polaroid look because obviously that was all the rage in the 80s and lots and lots of Polaroid photos. And I wanted to be able to do a bit of journaling or write something on there. So this is also part of the Whimsical pack. This is the ephemeras and I was just going through them, just seeing what ones I could pull out there. Um, I think the original and LOL was from a Rosie's Studio collection, but they were quite good words that I wanted to kind of add into this because the outfit was original and it was very, very funny. So again, just sorting out bits and pieces. You can see I've got the scissors there that I've pulled out, the word artistic. Um, and I don't think I ended up using that. Then I'm just going through my washies, which I, every time I look at, I know I've got to sort out, <laughs> but I just wanted to create a background behind where that photo is. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> so I'm starting to create these just long strips of washi and trying to pull out colors that were in obviously all of those circles. And even now I was talking to myself and I'm going, no, it's just not working, it's not working. Everything I add, because usually with scrapbook layouts, as you go and add more, that's what makes it and that's where it gets better. And But this one, the more and more I was adding to it, I'm thinking this just does not feel right. There is something about this layout I am not enjoying. But I kept going. I thought I've just spent an hour punching a load of circles. I can't just <laughs> give up. And I'm not the I'm not the type of person to give up. I don't give up easily. You know, I fight for things and I will keep going until, you know, I know I've done the right thing or I, yeah, or I've got it right. So anyway carry on still got more circles sticking more down you can see there I've really filled the top left and the bottom right right up to where those um, washi tape strips are so now I'm playing around with the photo and like I said it's got these really nice artistic creative elements to it so I've got the pencil the paintbrush the scissors because that's all the things dad would have needed to make this fancy dress um, costume and if you look up Weetabix 80s characters you will see Bixie and you'll see how spot on he got it. It's brilliant. He's done so well with that. Then I'm bringing out my trusty box of phrases and quotes and all kinds of stuff. And 
again I've still got to sort that out as well but I'm just going through and they're double sided so there's completely different words and phrases from one side to the other then towards the right there I'm spelling out get me out of here and they're these really nice kind of um, typewriter print letters so that's what I've got there and I'm going to put that now at the bottom of the photo just like that so get me out of here because again if you look close at my face I wasn't happy <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know how they they must have really cut my arms or pushed my arms through I don't know but I was wedged in there anyway so I've stuck the photo down it's also on some gold as well and then I'm starting to put in these little titles here so I've got artistic I've got embarrassing moment original childhood memories um, homemade cherished memories and that was it done now it's the next day I've got a different color top on and you can see me here I was filming it but I wasn't really concentrating of it you know actually being in frame but I'm pulling up all the side there so I'm lifting up some of the glue and I have my scissors there you can just see the top of the scissors and I've gone around and cut out all of the frame and then I've put it on this white and I thought already that was starting to get better I thought oh maybe it was because it was on a dark background to start with and the white looked better but then I still wasn't happy so now this is when I hack into it and I cut out <laughs> both of those corners and already I was there going oh my god that looks so much better it looks really good against the white <gasps> everything looks so much brighter the colors and I was just instantly happy with it and I hadn't had that feeling <laughs> up until that moment so I was really good and calm and I just put it to one side and I thought, nope. And I kept thinking about it. I was lying in bed. Does anybody else do that? Think about things in bed all the time. So anyway, I was starting to feel really good. So these are my Cosmic Shimmer sprays and I wanted to create some kind of paint splats. Again, I wanted that creative, artistic look to this. So I'm just doing some splats and you can see they've got all the different colours. I've got six colours there and again, you'll see it really well in the photos, but they are the really nice, bright, vibrant colours and they worked so much better with the papers. And again, I was so happy with it. So you can see there where I'd hacked into it all and I've got this really strong kind of element now that I can just stick straight down onto that white cardstock. And this was a really strong layout. So now I'm starting to lay in everything again. And I didn't waste anything. I just went and fussy cut all of that again. And I've just rearranged it. So it, again, everything just seemed to work better. And now I was just going to keep it like that. So I thought that looked nice. Just with the circles in the bottom right. Um, and I was pulling out the stars. And then I thought, actually, I think I could get away with it as well in the top left. But just not as big. So I just pulled some of the circles apart. And you can see there how nice it looks I just was really really pleased with it and it's now become one of my favorite layouts and I just thought that photo is such a a kind of a it is a cherished memory within our household because that in uh, that's a copy but it is that only that one photo and there's nothing else no other angles of it or anything and I just thought I just didn't feel that I enjoyed the, the original one that I'd done now this one is I personally think brilliant I love it and it is it's exactly what I wanted it to be and it to kind of, um, you know, display and when other people look at it, hopefully now they would see that this is a really arty kind of layout and it's to kind of sit with this homemade fancy dress outfit picture. So, yeah, now you're seeing all the stills and you can just see the colour and the splats and it just, everything just came together so much better. So I think the moral of this is don't give up um try something else again ways that you can still save layouts you know I was really careful and cut into it and I was able to save everything all I didn't was the washi tape and the you know the original 12 by 12 piece which actually now thinking about it I didn't like at all so yeah hope you've enjoyed it tune in again next week there'll be another one never know I might change that again but um until then I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye